Light up your troubles in your own kit bag and bury them beneath the sea. Yeah. Laurel and Hardy, pack up your troubles. <clears throat> Before I review this film, I'd like to point out something I've noticed. Look at this. Look at Ollie on both of these covers. It's the same. It's literally the same picture, just mirrored and put different clothes on him. Yeah. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, so this film, um. It stars Laurel and Hardy, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, and as always, the, that's their characters' names as well, which um, I guess is something they still do in like sitcoms where they have the actor has the same name as the character, but not really in movies anymore unless the actor's actually playing themselves. Like they're a famous actor in the movies universe. I mean, so um, this movie's set during World War One and. Um, Funnily enough, uh, Stan, he actually did, in real life, he did fight in the US military in World War One. but he, he was English, but he came to America. Yeah, um, so it's set in World War One, and um, they joined the US military, <coughs> and they befriend a man there named Eddie Smith, who, um, he got a letter saying that his uh, wife left him, and that she doesn't love him um, yeah, anymore, and that's very sad. And he, and his uh, little daughter has to stay with um, his uh, foster parents, there, who are uh, Annie and Jack, I think, um, who are really mean to her. And um, all of Laurel and Hardy want to um, um, get her to live with her grandparents, who are Eddie's parents, of course, but. Um, then um, Eddie dies in the war, so um, then they go, then after the war, then, um, Laurel and Hardy go and find his daughter and take her off, you know, the horrible parents, you know, um, and uh, they try to find um, you know, Eddie Smith's dad, um, but of course Smith is a very common uh, last name, so <laughs> it's hard to find him. And yeah, if, if this film was set in Wales, his last name would be Jones, because every person in Wales' his last name is Jones. <coughs> and yeah, um, and in the meantime, yeah, um, Laurel and Hardy have to take care of this um, child. And I mean, it's just, it's just a really nice film, really. I mean, I I love the scene of when they're in the military and like they're training and they they march in the wrong direction and stuff, that's really funny, and I mean, mm. and there's a scene where the, uh, the little girl um, tells him, keeps, starts telling um, Stan the uh, story of uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, <laughs> that's so funny, and like, he gets kind of bored and falls asleep with it, but like, uh, Stan Laurel's, you know, face um, in that scene is just so funny, I mean, he was such a mas great master of his face, I think, mm. and, yeah, I mean, mm. and it's just really nice and heartwarming, you know, at the end when they finally have found, you know, um, her grandfather, yeah, um, yeah, they could have just, you know, um, reported the parents for being, the foster parents for being really bad, to, but um, they just took her and, you know, got in trouble with the law, you know, so, like, even though they got in trouble with the law, like, their intentions were still good, and, you know, they, they are genuinely really nice people in this film, and, you know, want to, want her to, you know, live with her grandfather. <clears throat> Yeah, and um, this movie has uh, Mary Gordon in this, who um, is the woman who takes care of her, um, the girl when um, Laurel and Hardy are running this like moving rest. I don't know what you call it, like a moving restaurant that you can see like on the back of here, on the front of the cover of this. Um, and she would later be in like Bonny Scotland and uh, way out west. And yeah, you know, she was a Scottish woman, so that's another Scottish person in Laurel and Hardy. Because 
Yeah, James Finlayson, who's in tons of Laurel and Hardy films. Yeah, he was Scottish, and um, uh, the like uh, James Finlayson and Mary Gordon are two of the few actual Scottish actors in um, Bonnie Scotland. You know, um, there was quite like an English invasion in, in like the Laurel and Hardy films. Cause you know Stan Laurel himself, he was English and. Um, there is also Charlie Hall, who is an actor in a lot of them, who is usually their rival or played their um, landlord sometimes. Um, he was English. And um, <coughs> there was uh, Charlie Rogers, who directed a lot of the stuff and he acted in some of it too. He, he was English as well. Mm. So, and there was a, yeah, was a few Scottish people as well. And I mean, I think like it is a, an improvement over you know um, Pardon Us. I do you know really like Pardon Us, but I think this is definitely you know an improvement over that. And I mean, it's a lot less slow paced than um, Pardon Us, and yeah, um, and I like that it's a period film like that it's set in um, World War One, but it wasn't that long ago. Of course, you know now. World War One was a very long time ago, but since this is a very old film, you know, World War One wasn't that long ago, and you know, m many people, you know, who were there, you know, were still alive when this was made, and you know, it really does show like that the war was horrible, and of course they didn't call it World War One because this was before World War Two, and you know, they didn't really think they'd have another war like that really. <laughs> But overall, you know, great, uh, great film. It's just such, you know, a nice, heartwarming film. And, um, yeah. And uh, I'd like to recommend, um, if you like uh, Laurel and Hardy and you want to see more, like, Laurel and Hardy reviews, I'd like to recommend a, a guy named, um, here's Rodder's Reviews. He does a lot of great reviews of um, the Laurel and Hardy films there. Like he he's really good um, at reviewing them, I think. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Yeah, I think if you like Laurel and Hardy, you'll like his stuff. So yeah, great Laurel and Hardy film. Definitely would highly recommend. Very funny, and bye.